In this video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know to use N8N to filter through your Google Sheets. This video is made in response to Ismail Mutu, who is having a little bit of trouble filtering through his Google Sheets. So let's jump right in. So the first thing we're going to do is connect our Google Sheets account to N8N. Now, if you've already done this, you can go ahead and skip this part. First, we'll go to console.cloud.google.com. I'll leave a link in the description below. Go ahead and search for Google Sheets. Click on Google Sheets API, click enable. Now I've already done this. Then we're going to go to the OAuth consent screen. Go ahead and give your app a name, pick the email. You can give it a logo if you want. Then put the authorized domain. Now this is the domain that goes to your N8N. Since my N8N is beast.horizon.dev, I'm using only the horizon.dev portion. And then finally, just put an email here for the contact information. Save and continue. Let's add or remove scopes. I add them all by default. Click continue. And then confirm and you're good to go. Next, we're going to go to credentials. We're going to create credentials, OAuth client ID. Choose application type web application, give it a name. And here under authorized redirect URIs, we are going to get the URL from our N8N. So let's go to N8N, let's click on credentials, add a credential, Google Sheets, continue, and we're grabbing this URL right here. So copy that, let's put that in there, and then click create. I've already done this. Once it's created, it will pop up with a screen that will show your client ID and your client secret. And you're going to want to copy the client ID. You're going to want to put it here and you're going to copy the client secret and put it there. Now I've already done this, so we're good to go. All right, so I went ahead and made a test Excel sheet for this. Now in this sheet, we have some items that are in 2024 and we have some items that are in 2017. We have some that are improved, some that are not some type of type, and then names related to them. Let's go ahead and go to N8N, create a new workflow. Let's add a Google Sheets node. Let's get rows in a sheet. Select the right one. And make sure you select your Google Sheets account that we connected previously. And test step. And it looks like we're good to go. Now I'm going to pin this data here for now. Then I'm going to add a filter node. The best way to filter through data is with the filter node. So now I'm going to say everything that is after 2019. So let's put a date here. Let's put date and time is after 2019. Okay. And let's test the step. And we got 12 items. And we got rid of eight items here. So the eight we got rid of are all before 2019, and the kept items are all after 2019, okay? Now we can keep those items and do some further processing with them. Now, let's say that we want to keep these items, but we want to add some conditions. So let's say and approved is equal to, make sure it's a string here, because here it's a string, you can see. Let's put yes. Now we only got eight items. They all say yes, and they're all after 2019. And we got rid of some that were after 2019, but they said no. Now let's quickly talk about the convert types where required. Now this is basically going to convert things into booleans or into strings or anything it might be. So if you have a number here and you want it to be a number, you want to make sure that this is on, even though this says it's a string. You can tell it's a string because it has an A next to it. Now it's doing the dates automatically, which is beautiful, but sometimes it might not. There might be a list or an object inside the cell and you want to make sure that you're converting them over properly. So I hope that this video helps you guys out. If you guys would like to level up your N8N game, please be sure to check out my video on how to master API with N8N in a couple of minutes. And without further ado, you guys have a wonderful day.